What up guys, it's Markin. In today's League of Legends video, I want to know your opinion. What is the most important role in League of Legends? Now, I usually play as mid or jung. I really like to uh, dictate the pace of games and kind of make a real big impact kill and assist wise. Uh, playing mid and jung, I get to roam you know, to any lane I really want to, whenever I want to. If I'm playing mid, I just need to concentrate on farming. And then if I see an opportunity to get a kill, I can, uh, you know, hop down to bot lane, hop down up to top lane, and make an impact. Playing jung, I'm the same way. Uh, playing jungle, you know, I can do what I want to do, when I want to do it, and it can really carry the game for my team if I'm able to make a presence in all different lanes. Now about the past week or two, I would say two weeks, I've been playing a lot of support. A lot of support, <clears throat> excuse me. And the more I play support, the more I'm beginning to think that support is the most important role in all of League of Legends. Now, I've been playing a lot of Karma you know, she's not really the classic support. She has her uh, her shield. She has, you know, a nice poke on it, on her. And uh, I do like that because I can still deal some damage, especially with the support items and the support gold that's been, you know, so amped up in Season 4. Now, in terms of your classic supports, your Thresh, your Sona, they can make such a big impact in every single team fight. If I'm playing a LeBlanc mid, a Zed mid, you know, an Assassin type mid, a Kha'Zix, then I'm looking for picks. I'm looking for people who are singled out. I'm able to get in there, pick someone off, get a couple easy kills, and then get out of there quickly without dying. Now that's going to help out in team fights because they're down one person if our team is able to group up and fight 5v4. However, being a support, you can make so many plays for your AD carry. When you're down in bot lane, you know, it's really the AD carry's job to farm. That's really their job. It's to farm, it's to get as many minions as possible, get their gold up so late game they can carry. That is their job. And you know, that could bring you back to being the AD carry is the most important role because it's their job to carry the game. But as a support, when you're in bot lane, in the laning phase, it's really your call as to when you're going in, it's your job to harass, it's your job if your AD carry gets caught out to protect them, to peel for them, to heal them. Everything you do is for the entirety of your team. When you're playing a mid lane champ, you know, Everything you're doing is for kills. Now, obviously, kills help your team. However, if you're in a team fight and you're playing uh, an assassin, let's say like LeBlanc, and you assassinate their their other mid lane, or say they have an Ari mid lane, in a team fight you go to the back lines, you assassinate the Ari. Now, your cooldowns are off for a couple seconds. You've taken out one person. Now you have four other people on their team who are just, you know, raining down on your team. As a support, when you're playing, say, a Sona, you have a Crescendo, a Thresh with his ult. There's so many things you can do as a support throughout the entirety of the fight to change the outcome of the entire team fight, which in turn can change the outcome of the entire game. It's up to you to ward the map. You're you, it's your responsibility pretty much obviously everybody has the trinkets now and people are warding more often But if you still want map control, it's your job to go deep into the jungle of the enemy ward the jungle out and it's really the supports job to Take care of the entire game take care of the whole team and it goes from laning phase to team fights And if you guys have been watching any of the LCS, you know this past spring split is obviously over in the playoffs, in the NA side, Soraka was banned 94% of the time. And when she wasn't banned, she was picked and she won. And you see, there's a huge trend of now these mids, instead of being assassins, are going towards these support mid champs. You have Soraka, you have Karma, you have Lulu, and they're 
getting played more and more and more. With all of the new gold in Season 4, it's a lot easier for anyone in the game to carry. It's not just an AP carry and an AD carry anymore. It's an anybody in the game can carry. So you're seeing a lot bigger shifts to the supportive mid laners instead of the assassin mid laners. You still have the, the Blancs out there who can just burst someone down. Those are getting played often. But more and more you see the Lulus in mid lane saving people with her ults. You see the Karma saving people with her shields. You see Soraka with her ult. I mean, it's just... It seems more and more now that Season 4 has force people to play more as a team instead of just carrying people with their kills. And I think the support role is really becoming more and more and more important as the game goes on. So as always, this is a discussion channel. I want to know what you guys have to say about this. What do you think is your most important role in League of Legends and tell me why. Um, if you're new to the channel, I, lo I love discussions like these. I love being active in the comments. So. Tell me what you think, tell me why you feel that way, and I'll respond back and tell you, you know, whether I agree, disagree with you, and why. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching, and stay active. Hit, hit, hit me.